Hello guys and welcome to the next episode on the FTOG modded Arc Survival Evolves uh, yes. Server. That's what it is. It is a server of the FTOG community. I'm just very distracted because my god, look what that Dimorphodon does. I mean, I think it's become... It might possibly be trimming its toenails, but I think it's just a wee bit too relaxed. Don't you think it's sort of rolled on its back? Ah, uh, yes. As you might notice, we do have a few changes here. My main pride is this uh, lion, lioness. No, it's not a lion, it's a tiger. Oh my god. Perhaps I should stop recording, get some sleep and do it when I am a little bit more with it. It's a male, it's a saber tooth tiger and it's level 155. That was a rather lucky find. I also, apart from a couple of extra, uh, these guys, Pteranodons, I also managed to get a Dodi. And as you all know, Dodies is not a particularly high level. But as you know, Dodies are incredibly useful for getting stone and soon we will have to get loads of stone. I found that this fence doesn't actually hurt dinos so it is really quite useless because all it does is hurt me. So I'm going to remove it but also this house... Oh what color is that thing? Is it yellow? It doesn't look yellow. I don't think it's yellow. So probably quite useless. It looks blue. Is it blue? Let's have a closer look. The thing is, they're like two drop sides, or is it white? White would be rather useless, and I'm not going for it if it's in the water, and it is in the water. So we'll just leave it there. Ah, I also uh, tamed this Diplodocus. Diplodocus. It's a pretty interesting animal. You can transport quite a few people on it. You can see there are seats on the saddle. The saddle takes 200 metal to make, which is bloody ridiculous if you ask me. It's not a particularly high level one, but I'm topping up its uh, health because I think it could work as a pretty nice tank. And it doesn't... I'm not sure if it hurts animals or just pushes them out. And getting off it can be rather painful but enough distraction today i really want to get an argentavis because look i am level 54 i will oh, i'm almost level 55 which as i'm sure you know is the argentavis saddle level so i did spot a few argies why am i am i overburdened you know, I think I might be a little bit overburdened, what with all the arrows and the meats and all the other things. So, I don't know. Let's put some stuff. Ah, uh, what can I give up? Maybe I am holding too much meat. Oh, stone. Why do I have 60 stone on me? Uh, this is better. And I can give up. Some of this, and some of this, and some of this. And also these heightened boots, I guess. And, oh, I feel much better. One of the things, so quite a few of my times have failed, as I'm sure you're aware if you watched the last episode. And I've decided that one of the main reasons for this was because I never have enough trank arrows. Well, right now I have 83, which I'm not sure if that's going to be enough, but it's the rotting meat that's becoming a problem until we can make a grinder. Uh, I was not here, somewhere at the back. I noticed there were two Argentavis hanging out. I'm not sure what level they were, but let's see whether we can find them again. I'm not sure if I'm going the same way I went before is the only problem. But well, let's run through the woods and see what we can find. 
Aha. Well, I'm not sure if I wanted a... Uh, I'm not sure if I wanted a T-Rex instead of a Argentavis. I really want an RG, but a T-Rex would be fairly good defense. Ah, I almost fell to my death there. I just cannot remember which way I went before. You know, I found it like a really nice path in here. Uh, uh, why am I so bad with directions? Why? It makes my life a misery. It honestly does. Have a look at the T-Rex. Ah! 115? I will not say no to a 115. The problem is... Okay dear, let's go away from that T-Rex, huh? Did it go? Aha! I have a feeling that these birds sort of seem to be getting stuck. Here, I am here. I'd quite like to get it to the beach. Is it coming? Has it lost me? My god, what do you have to do to get the bloody thing to follow you and attack you? Did you go, dear? Oh, there it is. Oh, I think it's this glitch that uh, I've heard about. That it can't, it seems to get confused about what level it is with low, and it doesn't seem to be able to come down. That could potentially work to our advantage. to say this is pretty easy timing. As long as that T-Rex doesn't come to eat us.
Huh? Perfect. But now, how to get to it? I guess I'm gonna have to come with a bird. Ah, oh, why is everything so difficult? And once again, I missed the moment when it was, um, when the taming was finally over, but the taming is over. Now, what to do about the name? Here's the thing, you know, when you watch YouTubers like Minecraft, etc., they are always... There's certain phrases that they're constantly using, like one of them is, uh, what if I am not mistaken? And, you know, I keep wanting to say to them, no, you are not mistaken, I am mistaken, but, well, anyway. The other thing that I actually quite dislike that lots of people say uh, when they're YouTubing is bad boy ah uh, you know and always at it everything's a bad boy you know they I don't know they make a they build a chest on a crafting table and it's like oh yeah let's put this bad boy here or let's just yeah I don't know I find it very childish and I disapprove so, oh my god, and there are the Rexes. Is this actually, oh, there are the T-Rexes. Shall we go and do something about T-Rexes? But there's two of them. <laughs> okay, that's kind of lost me my train of thought. What levels are you guys? 35 and you're both 35. 35 and 35. I quite like their eyes, you know. Maybe I could just get one of them. Okay, guys. Well, to be honest, if they are 35, then I think most of my animals should survive. Where is the bird? Bird, where are you? I was going to call it bad boy. Where the heck did he go? Is it that he disliked being called bad boy? And where did the T-Rexes go? Everything's just disappeared. Oh no, here's the T-Rex. There's only one. I bet you I could... Where the heck is the bird? What happened? Oh gosh, okay, I think maybe it's a glitch. Is the glitch still operational? Ah, there you are. Come on. Come on, mate. We're going home. I'll make you a saddle. The truth is, I don't really have much more time left to play today. There's some boring work like stuff that I have to do oh gosh he is having that problem that really bad problem what are we gonna do about it huh let's grab this egg now I wanted to grab the egg yes maybe it wasn't such a good idea to uh to tame a glitched to tame a glitched um, bird. Let's see, what do we need for the Argentavis? Is it here that we make it? Maybe if I can get a saddle on him, it will not be bad. Hello again. Well, having gotten an Argentavis, I've actually played quite a lot with it, doing killing all sorts of stuff and things, just to level it up a bit. 
but obviously the great thing about Argentavis is you can bring down animals with you, you can get it to lift animals. And the one that I never had before and that I really really want is a dung beetle. Because well, look, it's so pretty! And also, I thought that it just made fertilizer, which would be excellent. But I now know that it actually, I've just found out that it actually also makes um, oil, so, you know, perfection. Uh, I've prepared this little taming pen for it. Now let's see whether I can actually manage to get it inside it. Oh my god. Did it go inside? Oh yes it did. Fa Perfect, but obviously I am going to have to do something about all those uh, all those compies. Like drop them from a great height. Sorry, compie, but really you're. You're not helping. So I've had a couple of attempts already at uh, getting the dung beetle. First of all, I guess I should tell you that I found these on the um, on the Death Skull Mountain. You know the mountain that's behind that obelisk that looks like a skull with fire in its eyes, etc. There's a centipede there, which I would really also like. But I think actually the um, the dung beetles might prove to be more useful. Now they are a let's let's rest temporarily at a, oh I think this is Tully's place. Is this Tully's place? Let's see. It is Tully's place. And I do believe that he Look, his strike has killed stuff. Oh no, this is his. The, these are his turtles. I don't know why I'm killing a trilobite when I really should be... Uh, where did that trilobite go? Oh my god. Oh god. Die already. Well, you can never have enough chitin or silica pearls. Can you, bad boy? Ah, oh, you're such a bad boy. Okay, let's go and... So, as you might know, the dung beetle is a... Uh, passive tame. And basically, it's a major pain in the neck. And there's something... I think it's the server. It's very annoying because buildings don't show up and they're really, really late. Alright, let's see. So, I have made myself a couple of uh, bug repellent. And also I have some poop on you. Look, delicious large animal feces. Okay, let's try the bug repellent. I am now I should now be invisible to this critter now he didn't eat it and he is now aggressive and I'm gonna have to do pump pumpy killing as well Oh my god. Ah. Oh. This is just dreadful, you know. I cannot.
Ah, oh, did she kill him? Of course she killed him. All right, guys, so I've been finally reading up on this. I pretty should do some research before starting on the thing. And we have another beetle to experiment upon. So apparently the trick in taming it is to let it run around chasing you until it gets tired. And when it does get tired, you can uh, add some, put some large feces into its inventory. Ah, right, right now. Oh, and look at this, I've tamed it. The other big trick was that, uh, the other big trick was that I had my Dimorphodon on my shoulder, and I suspect my Dimorphodon was attacking him when I was trying to tame him, and I think that's why it kept not working. So I left poor Polly back at the base. But anyway, we have, uh, we now have a dung beetle. Ah, finally. This took a very long time. But I wonder what's in this place. What is this place? Oh, it renovates egg starter house. Interesting. I guess he must have a lot of dilos, um, dodos in there or something. Very cool. But anyway. It is time to take our beetle home. Where is our beetle? Where are you, beetle? Yep, come with me. It's not as colorful as the other one, which I am a little bit disappointed in, but I am sure it's going to produce fertilizer and dung and everything else, just as well as the first one. It's also rather low level, but you know, that at least made it easy to tame. Anyway, guys, on this happy note, I think I will end here. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.